Hey, it's Kevin Dees. I'm standing in front of the fountain here at Forest Lawn. And you know, a lot of things about Michael Jackson and his life were a mystery. And even after his death, some things are still a mystery. For example, where is he going to be buried? A lot of people think he might be buried here at Forest Lawn. Me personally, I think that he should be buried at Neverland, the place he loved, the place that everybody knows is Michael Jackson's house, kind of like Elvis was to Graceland, Michael is to Neverland. So I really hope he ends up there. But as of right now, we don't know. And it's a mystery. We're here at Forest Lawn in Hollywood. There's been a lot of talk about people wanting him to be buried at Neverland. What are your feelings on that? I mean, I believe that's where he lived. That was his home. That's what he loved. I think he should be. But, you know, I mean, I think the cemetery is an appropriate place. Everyone can come and visit him here, too. But Neverland was his home. I kind of see it as a Graceland. A Graceland for Michael Jackson. I can honestly see that, and I would be the first one in line to go get the ticket to go see it. Actually, we're going to go next weekend to Neverland to take pictures and kind of go over there. Growing up, was Michael's music a big part of your life? Oh my God, yes. I could remember when I got the album. My mom bought me the Thriller album. You would open it up, and he was laying down with the tiger. Oh my God, I would play that record over and over and over again. I, I just, I, I can't believe, I can't even believe I'm here. This is the closest I'll ever get to him. You know, you know in, in life, there were a lot of rumors about Michael, and even in death, there are a lot of rumors. Like, for example, I heard that some people are saying he's not actually even in the casket. Do you think that's ridiculous? I, I think it is. I think, if anything, his family and, you know, his fans would want him to be there. So I think his family would do it for his fans. I think he's there. I mean, his family's there. Why would they, why would he not be in there if his family was there at the Staples Center for the memorial? So, I love him so much. Oh, we're actually here. I'm here for a singing career, and um, we're staying up at Oakwood, <laughs> and all this was going on, so we decided to come down here and check it out and see. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> you being a singer, is Michael's music an inspiration of what you're trying to do with your career? Yeah, I like his dance moves and stuff like that. It is inspiration because he changed like the world of dance and stuff, so it's pretty neat to be here experiencing it. Definitely something you'll remember for the rest of your life? I'll remember it forever from the cheerleading routines with that music in it till today. <laughs> Tom, you're out here at Forest Lawn to see the motorcade with Michael's body inside. What is this all, what, what do you make out of all of this? Uh, it's just uh, interesting to see something that happens that people around the world are watching and it's just happening in our backyard here, so it's interesting to see it. Do you think Michael, I wasn't alive when Elvis passed, but do you think this is like the Elvis of our generation passing? Uh, yeah, I think it is to, to a large degree. I also don't recall, I was probably alive back then, but I don't recall exactly what happened at the time sure. uh, when he passed. But I think that there's been some really interesting comparisons between how his legacy is going to be managed versus how uh, Elvis's uh, legacy was managed. And they talk about how Frank Sinatra's legacy probably wasn't managed as well as, uh, as Elvis. And it's just interesting to see how they're going to handle that. Uh, you guys are here to see the Jackson Motorcade go by. What does this day mean to you guys? Anything special? Nothing good. I mean, it's the end of an era. It's the end of the greatest entertainer of my lifetime, for sure. I think a great uh, entertainer has passed away, and it's just try, try to remember some of the things, try to visit where he's going to be. That's going to be it for us. People think back on Michael. Do you think that they're going to think more about the good things of his life that people talked about, opposed to all the controversy that surrounded him so much of the time? I hope so. I really hope so because I saw him as a beautiful human being. I've always seen the good side of Michael, and I hope they remember the good side. And he was a genius, a musical genius. Rhonda, you're here hopefully to see Michael Jackson's motorcade go by. What does this day mean to you? Are you a, were you a huge fan of Michael's? A huge fan. Um, the tears watching the memorial today it was beautiful. Uh, this will bring not necessarily closure, but in some sort of way closure for me to see it because I missed it this morning and this will be the closest I've gotten to him in a long time. I saw him in concert years ago when I was about 13 years old and I miss him already, but like they said, he'll live within us forever.